PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know I uh, pick up dumpsters for a living and I sort through the junk and every now and then I find something quite interesting. I found myself an old shovel. The handle's a bit knackered, so I don't think I'll be doing much shoveling with it, but today I thought I might see if I could make a garden ornament out of it. I'm going to plasma cut a face into my shovel. Let's see if we can shovel plasma cut. So if you're new to my channel guys, all I use is a cheap cut 40, uh, just 40 amp there, it goes from 15 amp to 40 amp, just an off on switch, real basic machine. Uh, your torch lead coming in here and your earth clamp going off there and that's just the switch for your torch. And I use a PT31 torch head with it because it runs the cheapest consumables and it's cheap like me and I like cheap things and hey, what are you saying? You're saying that I'm cheap. I probably am cheap guys. I like doing things on the uh, cheap, I mean on, the, on a budget, recycling. I was into recycling before it became popular. <laughs> and the welder I use in all my videos, guys, is once again, it's just cheap. It's a non-brand name thing just out of China. It's a MiG-250. It's an inverter. It's the same as my plasma cutter up there. Um, just your basic just your voltage and your speed. On, off there. Uh, positive and negative. Electrode, whatever you want. And your torch plugged in here. So there's nothing flash here at all, guys. So what I'm saying is if you want to get into plasma cutting or do some plasma cutter art or whatever you're into, uh, it doesn't have to cost a lot to get started, and it's really great fun. <laughs> Anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can certainly do it. So like I say, guys, I found this old shovel in one of my dumpsters, so I thought, what can I do with that? What can Pete do with this? So instead of uh, taking it to the old dump, I thought I'd see if I can make something out of it for the garden. What do you reckon? Give it a crack, Nigel? Why not, eh? <laughs> Pete will have to put his art face on there. Because uh, I'm quite artistic, <laughs> bullshit artistic, but anyway. Well, doo -doo. One eyeball, two eyeball, and we need a mouth. Murder. Gee, you're a good artist. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Who do you reckon? <laughs> Would you like to meet him on a dark night? I think not. Up here, I think we need to put some hair up here. It's like me, he hasn't got any damn hair. Could we use for hair? Hair today, gone tomorrow. Righty, righty, Cody, let's get into it. Let's cut me a face. Yeehaw! Oh no, it's a mirror image of me. What do you reckon? 
freaking guys with God now. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's Pete being silly for this week. It doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I reckon it looks all right for a young fella. If you want me to cut up some more shit out of stuff I find in my dumpsters, put a comment below and I'll see what I can do. We never know what we can make out of what. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, say hi, Pete, at PeteTools.com. And uh, we'll see you next time, eh? Don't take life too seriously. Yeah! PeteTools.com. Pete's